We're going to look at multiplying decimals. Uh, and in order to understand this, you need to know how to multiply a decimal by 10, 100, 1000, etc. very well. We've already done that. So if you've forgotten that or you're a bit unsure of it, please go back and recap that before you go on to this video. Say we want to work out what 0, 0,8 times 0, 0,03 is. What we're going to do is go to something that we know very well. And we're simply going to say, OK, let's look at what 8 multiplied by 3 is. And we're going to get the answer very easily of 24. Now, obviously, we didn't want to do 8 multiplied by 3. We wanted to do 0, 0,8 multiplied by 0, 0,03. So what did we do to turn 0, 0,8 into 8? We moved that comma over. In other words, we multiplied by 10. And to turn 0, 0,03 into 3, we multiplied by 10. And we multiplied by 10 again. So essentially, we've cheated by multiplying by 10, by multiplying by 10, by multiplying by 10. So when we get to the answer, we must make up for all that cheating by going in reverse, and we need to divide by 10, and divide by another 10, and divide by another 10. So our decimal comma is going to move all the way back to over here. And so the answer is going to be 0, 0,024. So a quick way of doing this is simply to look if we have like 0, 0,03 times 1, 2 is to say what, just ignore all the commas and say what's 3 times 12. Well, 3 times 12 we know is 36. All right, but in ignoring all the commas, what I've done is I've cheated 1, 2, 3, 4 times. So I must uncheat 4 times 1, 2, 3, 4 so my comma comes back to there, and my answer is 0, 0,0036. OK, try this one for yourself. If I tell you that 23 times 57 is 1,311, can you get the answer to the next three without having to do any further calculations yourself? Pause the video and try and write down those answers now. OK. Hopefully the first one is easy because what you've got here is you've got 23 multiplied by 57 multiplied by 10. So your answer is going to be 13110. You've just multiplied by 10. All right. In this next one, what we've got is we've got one, two, three places after the decimal comma. So if we were to do 23 times 57, we would be cheating three times. So we need to basically take our answer of 1311 and uncheat, right? Divide by 10 three times. And so we'd put our comma in there. So I'd get our answer of 1, 311. And then the last one is even easier because it's basically if you just did 23 times 57 to get the answer to this, you would be cheating just one time. So you only need to come back one space with a decimal comma.